Welcome to the introduction of the Unique Meaning Experience. The self-love revolution starts here. I am Loren Dalrymple, the original S-O-F-F, and I want to thank you for joining me on this podcast, which is me going solo to begin with. I will be inviting people to join me, and that can be anybody, and I'll give you details as we go along about how you can do that. My story starts as most people's stories, as a younger person. Born and raised in London, UK, of Guyanese parents. That part is important. We'll get to that bit in a minute. And for the longest time, I just felt like I didn't fit in. I knew I was pleasant to be around. I could make people laugh. I was a child. Looking back on it, children need love. And I got lots of it. But there was a sidebar to my story where I'd got this kind of little brigade of people, usually older people who knew my parents and some family members, actually, who would just pick and allow you to feel like you didn't belong or you don't fit in. And I believe that this self-love revolution that I'm kind of going on is to let people know that it is not anyone's place to make you feel worthless, valueless, or like you don't belong. You do. The world would be a very much changed and different place without you in it. It doesn't matter if you feel like a small fish in a big ocean. You're in the ocean and you're swimming, you're doing your thing. So keep at it. I've had people describe me as ugly over time. I've had people ask me if, and I'm going to quote, you and Shim going on stage? So yeah, this was an older person who knew my mother. There was a woman who once questioned the idea of me going in for the Miss Guyana competition. I thought that was a brilliant thing to represent your parents' country and get a crown for it. This was many years ago in the 90s. But I actually wasn't doing that. She'd got the story mixed up. I was asked to provide music and I agreed. But her thing was to make me feel that what I shouldn't do was go anywhere that near that competition in, as she put it, a two piece. She pulled me aside. Hey, Loren, I hear you going up with this Miss Guyana thing. You don't feel you're going to be shamed with all your body outside in the two piece? Words to that effect, yeah? Feisty, brazen and rude, cheeky bird. After putting her straight, you know, she left our home with her tail between her legs. And that was the end of that. But more and more I was hearing people say, you don't fit in. I was told many years ago, oh, you'll never sing. Oh, no, not with that space in your teeth. You'll never make your words clear. I was told that. (laughs) <laughs> so I have to laugh because singing is all I've done. I'm 49 years old. I've been singing for 41 years of my life publicly. So I don't know if that person is dead or alive, but if they are alive, may God bless them because they have a very distorted view of what is cool and what is not, what is right and what is not, and what is none of their damn business. <laughs> so I've had a bit of a hard time, but I'm not here to complain. I have a saying, you've got to go through it to get through it. And I do believe somehow I'm on the other side of that horribly oppressed part of my life where people just made it clear that they felt that I didn't belong, that I was too ugly, sometimes too black, sometimes too fat. You all know I call myself the sister of the fuller figure. It's not to annoy people. Is to remind anybody who wants to say anything different that, well, Lorraine's actually proud of how she looks and she's comfortable in her own skin. Think about that for a minute. Being comfortable in your own skin. There is nothing you can do about certain aspects of your looks. Many people do through plastic surgery and maybe a haircut or even makeup. But if you didn't have plastic surgery or a haircut or makeup, you'd still be you, you'd still be worth loving and you'd still be able to love others. 
So why do people do that? Why do they decide that you don't belong based on the way you look or a job you've chosen or something you enjoy doing? This is how our young people are getting bullied online and and the like. And it has to stop. And me, for one, I'm going to try and encourage people to love themselves so that they can at least offer themselves up to other people as a loved human being and therefore share love with other people. The next section of this podcast is a poem that I wrote. And it's going to tell you a little bit more about how I feel so I can stop wittering on about myself. I'll see you on the other side of that. Unique Meaning, a poem by Loren Dalrymple. The dictionary states that unique is one of a kind, unlike anything else. Yet my one of a kind is put down constantly to make me doubt myself. When I say that I like being me, it's not an excuse or avoidance to being better. When I speak up in honour of my curves, my girth, my shape, my size, my frame, it's not just noise to drown out a secret shame. Not fitting into your demographic is like standing in a road of oncoming traffic. What chance do I have? I give thanks for what I learn about me and achieve as me. I am made in his image. On my fabulous there is no halt, no cease, no stay, no stoppage. Understand, I like that you're unique. I may not always like exactly what you like, but I'll always love the fact that you are free to like it. The same makes me definitely meanique. It's an overflow of blessing designed for one that holds strong without added critique. I celebrate our differences knowing we don't and won't always agree. I applaud that you're taller, shorter, darker, lighter, fatter, thinner, more quiet, louder than me. I am beautiful. Yes, I said that out loud. If I don't, who will? I need to crow over my accomplishments, sing on my triumph, rejoice in the satisfaction of my skill. Don't silence me, don't cut me off, don't stand in my way. I got places to go, people to see, words to speak and a life to live today. My meekness deserves your respect. It is unapologetic, unashamedly proud. It neither seeks to belittle or degrade. I'm a thundering rainstorm, a crashing tidal wave, a classic movie with songs, the biggest carnival parade. This is not a trip for my ego. I'm not toning down my brightness nor my colours. I won't hide my light under a bushel. Now don't get me wrong, I can pull back if needs be, speak with a hush when necessary. It's just you don't have to feel threatened by me because my wonderful drips with fabulosity. This is not and never shall be a time to accuse my tone of aggression. Just appreciate my homegrown grade A brand of passion. Seeing as I have your attention, here's one last thing for now. As you step into my queendom, my only request is that you watch your mouth, know your place, and remember that you are a guest. Unique Meaning, a poem by Loren Dalrymple. You have been listening to a spoken word production for Soft Creations. Thank you guys for listening to that poem. It really does express how I feel. um, And I just feel so empowered to feel this way. And I wouldn't want anybody to feel even the smallest portion of what I have felt in my past um I've had somebody recently had a lovely chat with um a cousin who said oh Lorraine you don't strike me as that that person you've described and I I said we all go through um moments of doubt and it's almost as if those horrible people can smell that you doubt something about yourself and then like wolves they just pounce on it And if you're too weak, you won't survive that attack. That's why I believe self-love makes you stronger. And it doesn't make you stronger so you can go out and beat people down. It makes you stronger so that you can deflect the beat down that's coming your way. And it is because there's someone out there who's just too flipping hateful. 
and hurtful in their way to recognise that they don't have to be that every single day of their lives to move forward and to get things done. Now, in addition to this podcast being released, I will be releasing um, a video called Levitation. Levitation was written at the time when I first started my self-love revolution, which was many years ago, many, many, many years ago. And um, I think I wrote it in 1995, 96, but I recorded it more recently. I think the recording you're hearing was recorded in 2018. And um, the video that goes with it is me completely starkers. And I've already argued with somebody about that. Oh, Lorraine, it's disgusting. You shouldn't do that. It's my artistic interpretation of how in love with myself I am. And I don't mean that in an (laughs) egotistical way. I mean, I'm so happy with myself that I can go nude. You don't really see a lot of the the bits that, you know, they'll censor because it's not that type of um, nudity that we're talking about. But I wanted to, I wanted to, um, to show that I love myself and that this was my way of doing it. So I most definitely would love people to go to the bio section of this podcast where you can click on the link for that video and um, share it as you see fit or watch it as many times as you see fit. Listen to the lyrics. The lyrics pertain, the lyrics and the title pertain to uh, the legend of the levitation tree at Levitation Point in Guyana. My grandmother was the granddaughter of an emancipated slave who told her this story that um, our enslaved ancestors would gather at this point and meditate to the point of levitating clear off the ground. And at a time when I was feeling really put upon by those who just believed I didn't fit in, I started to think if my ancestors in their oppressed state can levitate physically, then I can do it spiritually and take my spirit up to greater heights and just feel good and pass that on. I'm asking people to contact me to inbox me, um, DM me, Facebook, IG, details found here in the bio section, so that we can chop it up like grown folks um, on a further podcast of the Unique Meanique Self-Love Revolution podcast. And I invite you to tell your story. What makes you uniquely meanique? What gives you your edge? What is it you love about yourself? What is it you've had to learn to love about yourself? I want to hear it. I want to share that with people going forward in the hopes that other people will learn. And if only a few people hear it, but they take something away from it, we've done a great thing. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you will enjoy the levitation video, which releases the same day as this podcast. So you can find it. And people, thank you. Thank you for the love you show me. And we will chop it up like grown folks. Sooner or later, we will meet and we will do this again. Love, peace and hair grease to each and every one of you. Why love, peace and hair grease? Because everybody needs love. Everybody needs peace. And nobody wants a dry scalp. I'll see you on the other side, people. Take it easy.